Hi everybody, Chef Danny Davis here and I'm down at Culinary Convenience with a good friend of mine. I've known him for a long time. I've only met you a couple of times though, right? Uh, yeah, only a couple of times, but we've been friends on social media for what feels like almost a decade, I think. For, yeah, yeah, many years. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Christopher Bishop. Hi guys. Hi, how you doing? Hi, good. Yeah, very good. So, yeah, you just flown in, Chris. Where'd you come from? Uh, I'm from Bath in the UK. No, no, where did you fly where in from? Where did I fly in from? I just flew in from St. Martin. St. Martin, yeah. eh? You living yeah. out in the Caribbean? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, between gigs. So w what do you do? I, I know you've been in the Caribbean for a while now down in St. Martin. Do you just take uh, gigs from there? Yeah, pretty much. Or I fly into the States and take gigs and I just use my downtime in St. Martin. It's, uh, it's a nice place and close to everywhere to get to for, uh, for, for jobs that come up. So, yeah, the yeah. food's pretty good there too, right? Because you've got yeah, the French yeah. side and the Dutch side. Exactly. So yeah. um, provision there, I've, I've always enjoyed it. Uh, Chef's Garden, I think I use that. Yeah. Yeah, you know it? Uh, I do know it. I've not used them though. No. Yeah. Where do you Where do you go? Uh, for provisions, I've actually got a local friend there who helps with shoreside support. Oh yeah, um, I know that guy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean to be to be honest D with you, Defoe, Defoe, right? Yeah, Defoe. Shout out, yeah. Benjamin Defoe. Benjamin Defoe. Yeah, yeah we yeah. did a video with him in Saint Martin. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a link to it down here, so if you want to watch it, uh, I think it'll be up there or something, and you can click on it and see that top guy really like him so you ain't got yeah. his pool i went for a pool party there exactly i've just been floating around there for the last month it's time to get back to it. living yeah. the dream that's yeah. what us yacht chefs do right yeah. yeah so chris tell me how did you become a chef i have been a chef since i was about 16 years old oh, i did right. my yeah, professional went straight in yeah straight in <laughs> head first uh did my culinary mvqs in uh, bath tech school all right so you went to a, a college yeah yep. yeah yeah city and guilds uh City and Kills, that's quite widely like recognised, isn't it, by the MCA? So you yeah. got, what, a level two with them? Yeah, exactly. And then I just moved on to, to restaurants in, in and around Bath. A nice area yeah. as well, isn't it? It's for those lovely, who don't yeah. know, Bath is like an historical town in the UK. Uh, it's quite well known for its um, baths, Roman yeah. baths, and, and beautiful hotels and restaurants. So you cut your teeth in a good spot. Exactly, yeah. I worked in some nice restaurants there, actually. A uh, beautiful fish restaurant called Lock Fine when I was younger. Shout out to them. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I, I moved to Greece and... Oh, nice. Greece. Yeah, I moved got, to Greece. Got any family connection back to Greece? Or no, just no, no, no. I just, I just moved there and lived there for a few years Sweet. and um, found my first boat. Or my first boat found me, even. Ah, I wasn't right. even looking for a... For so a you were out in Greece yeah. and uh, they were looking for a chef. Yeah. And you were like, hello. Exactly, yeah. Tell me about it. How did it happen? Uh, I was living with two other chefs. Um, as we, you do. Yeah, and we were all working uh, in three three restaurants between us, sort of rotating head chef of the three restaurants. Sweet. And one, one of the brothers of the chef came home one day and said, oh, you should see this boat, it's amazing, they, they need a chef. He was working just uh, day rate signing the teak on the boat. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, this thing's incredible, you know, I'd, I'd love to give it a go. So I, I went and worked as a uh, crew, uh, crew slash sous chef. Oh, how big was the boat? 88 meters. Oh right, big one yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, very big, yeah. yeah. Was it a soup yacht or sailboat? Uh, sa sailing. Sailing boat. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 88 meter sail yacht. That's a big old boat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So you so went on as a cruise chef. Yeah. How long did you go? How long did you do? Uh, I, I, it was supposed to be temporary at first, and then the captain said to me, hey, do you want to move on and, and, and we're, we're about to set sail. So I ended Sweet. up being permanent. I was on there for a year and a half almost. Nice yeah. one, man, nice yeah. one. That's a, what a, what a first gig. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. first gig was on Al Luceo, which was a big royal yacht, and I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. I was the salad chef, okay. which was a bit of a down, down step for me, you know, yeah. but I did it and I hated it. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd never get into yachting again. So you, you really looked out with that boat. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It uh, did. Um, it was very testing. Uh, yeah, I bet, it, was, I bet. it was. It was crazy because a very busy charter program back to back. And, I, and they I, always want to go sailing, right? Exactly, yeah. And so, so the you boat's know, like, Ugh. yeah, you're, you're you're holding on like this. The 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 um, oven's on a is it an anzel or a, an can, a cantilever uh, thing? Yeah, 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 exactly. And uh, mm -hmm. it was it was crazy. It was yeah, absolutely bet, crazy. Yeah. Wait, so you didn't like prep the food when you were racing? You'd have to like get everything done and then what? Buckle down, race, and then set up again. Pretty much, and. The, the captain was very good with talking to the guests and saying, if you're sailing and you want lunch, it's basically going to be like wraps and homemade cookies and, yeah. and like a little picnic, <laughs> not not a three course lunch or, you know what I mean? So. But in the evening, so I guess that when, when you've all settled down and everything, you can do some really nice food, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It was a very well equipped galley. And actually. you have some pretty good food. I, uh, I know yeah. a guy who built a website for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and tell me about how that has worked for you, because I just want to like put it out there to chefs. I'm not so, trying to sell my services of building websites, hey. but I think that people should promote themselves, especially yacht chefs. And uh, back in the day, it was quite a few years ago now, wasn't yeah. it, Chris? Yeah. I built your website. Tell me about how that helped you get jobs. That has that's helped me a lot, and especially in the last in the last year, that's helped me um, 
it, it's helped me a lot with uh, I've got I've had phone calls from people where I've not even applied for anything and they've said hey by the way I saw your website you know that's uh, more so in the last six months than ever because I've been freelancing yeah so yeah I've it been really helps a freelancer right yeah because so I mean, you can just ping the um, chief steward or the captain your uh, email address yeah. or something broke <laughs> <laughs> Greek wedding over there <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the captain of the steward can just click on it and they can see more than just your CV they can yeah. see what boats you've worked on um, feedback I think we put in some like testimonials and, and uh, yeah. letters and things like that food gallery food gallery yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, would you really link it up to your social media? Absolutely, yeah. It, it's on my Instagram and my Facebook as well. There you go um, then. So people very are good. finding you, and that's yeah. that's what's important. Yeah. For the for the new chefs out there, it's well worth getting a good CV, uh, creating a portfolio, uh, and getting yourselves out there. It's hard to get that first job. Yeah. You've got a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you. what happened after that? Where'd you go? Uh, from from Greece, I. I, so I travelled around on that yacht uh, around the Mediterranean for the year and a half that I was on there. Sweet. Doing I, the milk run. Yeah. Uh, and teams over to Italy. Yeah. And eventually got cabin fever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let, yeah I, I moved to Thailand where I lived for five years. Oh, sweet. Did you uh, do any culinary courses out there? Or any I didn't. I really wish I did. But I, I just I got did. drunk. Yeah, <laughs> and I, d I did get to work with a lot of um, a lot of Thai people. Yeah. Um, learned a lot about the language and the food. Oh, Love the food; it's yeah. incredible. Your Thai food is is yeah. another level, actually. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Honestly, you've got, you've got a real art for that. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. So next boat, where was that? Um, I worked on a boat for a little while, a very small, a thirty meter boat uh, in Thailand for a while. Oh, nice. Uh, around Phuket, we we were based in Phuket, and we were travelling around the islands there. Wow, I bet that was absolutely beautiful. Eh? Stunning, yeah. Those gorgeous. sunsets must have been. Yeah, incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, so I was there for yeah there for a very long time, and then when I left there, I came back to the Med, mm -hmm. and pretty much from there on out, I did season after season in the Med. Um, yeah, you do, you've had a lot of repeat clients, right? Where you've worked for a boat. Yeah. And then Absolutely. you've got done another thing for a season. You do the ski season as well, yeah, don't you? Yeah. And then come back to that boat and join it. Exactly. Which, which yeah. shows that you've got a high level of service. You're a professional and you do your job well. Yeah. So thank value you. yourself, appreciate Chris. It. Yeah. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. So, um, so we've done the med a lot. Uh, tell me a little bit about how you got over to uh, the Caribbean and this side of the waters. So I finally. Uh, I don't know why I waited so long for it, but I finally went and done my, got my V1, B2 visa mm -hmm. and I just decided I'm going to get up and go. I didn't get a boat to come over here. I, I just flew to St. Martin. Um, again, two friends that I used to work with were setting up a business in St. Martin. So the, pro I, the provisioning business, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I decided to come over. Um, we shared a place and I just thought, you know, I'm just going to go and, and see, see if I can get some either something put more permanent this side or if I can get some freelance. Yeah, and um, I, sorry to bump into yeah. you, Chris, but I wanted to tell people that the Caribbean is a fantastic place to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. If you've got your B1, B2 visa, which is a, a like a US visa to come in and be working on a boat, you can't, you can't look for a job in the US with a B1, B2. What you can do is go to the Caribbean, find a job, work on a boat, and if that boat comes into Florida, you're still allowed to work in it because you have your B1, B2 visa. Uh, and that's why it's important for yacht chefs to get. I, I kind of recommend, highly recommend anyone coming over to the Caribbean to get the B1, B2 before they come over. It can just give you difficulties and it's not worth the hassle. Once you've yeah. got it, you can come in out of, uh, of Florida, uh, anywhere really in the US. As long as you're working on the boat and you have a permanent contract, you're all good. But freelancing in the Caribbean, tell me a little bit about that. How does that work? It's awesome. I mean, I, when I came over 7th of November uh, last year, it was a bit of a bumpy start. I had a couple of months where I was kind of thinking, is this the right choice? It can be Do so it. hard to get a job, can't it? Yeah, yeah, it's also a very expensive place to stay uh, when you're not working. So Because it's a beautiful island in the Caribbean. Ex exactly, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, mid-December, uh, late December, I started to pick up some, some, some work, small jobs at first. Yeah. Um, made some good contacts with the captains. They were very happy with my work. Um, they started to call me back, you know. And and now I've got, I've started to be able to map it out myself a little bit more. So that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, because uh, for those who don't know, Saint Martin's kind of a hub in the Caribbean, and a lot of captains and charter boats will come back there to resupply. So it's really good, Chris, that you're able to make some contacts with those captains, and they had a chef for a week, came back, picked you up, gave you a bit of work, and and that happens a lot. And that's what the freelancing market's like. It's hard to get that first one, but when you do and you get a name for yourself, uh, it's easy, really, isn't absolutely, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And again, again, just to say it, say it one more time, your your website did really help uh, this this uh, this this last six months with with, with that. I yeah, had captains call me out of the blue, you know. And, 100%. And say, yeah. Social media and, and being able to send things digitally, it's 2024. It's so much easier than trying to send paper 
printouts of your CV and things like that. And it, I don't knock me, the agencies are, are fantastic and they get people work, but the networks now on, on social media, on uh, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, they're, they're robust, they work, yeah. they're yeah, proven. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I have still had countless agents that I've been agents with for a while, they still use my website links. They'll say, oh my God, that's super impressive. Not everybody has got that. I've not seen many chefs that have that. It makes you look super organized. And they'll forward my link with my CV to the captains as well. So it still does work through the agencies as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and AI can make them now like that. You yeah. Just give them a bunch of pictures and they'll make your website. <laughs> anyway, Chris, tell me a little bit more about what you've been doing really lately. Uh, over like the past month or so and um, what's your future plans? So I've been in Costa Rica Ooh, and nice Panama. Costa Rica. Yeah, I've been did fishing. A, yeah, we did actually. We caught some uh, big mahi, mm -hmm. some nice tuna. I was doing mahi tacos and endless uh, Japanese food for the crew and the guests, <laughs> um, which, was, which was appreciated all around. Um, yeah, it was lovely. That's the first time I've been to that side of the planet. Uh, absolutely awesome. Really enjoyed myself. Uh, did get yeah, those charters there and then I flew back to St. Martin and I've spent almost a month in St. Martin just downtime. Just kicking back. Kicking back. Maxim relaxing. L Life O'Reilly, exactly. And Chilling like a villain. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and now ready ready to work again. I've just Perfect picked up time. another. Yeah. The season's yeah. about to start. In fact, we're, uh, we're a few days off from uh, Flibs, which is happening soon. Uh, if you want to take part in the chef's competition, it's a stew and chef competition combined this year. I'll stick a link below. Um, you can do that. But if you're watching this and it's like way past October, I'm sorry, it already happened. <laughs> <laughs> So Chris, what's next for you? Uh, I'm just going to really continue to freelance. I'm really enjoying it at the minute. It's giving me a nice life balance between, you know, between work and, and rest. Okay. It's really good, yeah. And I'm enjoying the work more because I'm, I'm very well rested. I've got time in my downtime to think about food and enjoy food, going out eating, yeah. writing menus in my spare time rather than as a, as a job. So it started to tie up really nicely. Um, I've got a job now in, in the, um, the Bahamas for three weeks. Sweet. Then back to St. Martin, which is the beginning of the season there. Again, yeah, it is. So it is, yeah, Flips is gonna kick yeah. it off here, for those who don't know, in, in Florida, uh, kind of end 31st, 30th of um, October, so the end of October. That kind of marks the Caribbean season. But the kind of, the real official one is the Antigua Boat Show, which happens kind of December time, right? Early yeah. December. So we'll get Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's down here. It's a really busy season. And then it rolls into kind of January, February, March. April, people start coming back, yep. May, into the yard, and then crossover for the season in the Med. Exactly, yeah. I'm off to Taiwan in March. I've booked some holidays, nice. so yeah. Well, thanks everybody. Thanks, Chris. Lovely to chat Thank with you. you. Thank you, Danny. Were you going to be at Flibs this year? Um, I'll, ch I'll try my best, yeah. Try my best. Oh, you're yeah. probably out in the Bahamas, right? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. I yeah. think I might still be there, yeah. All right, mate. Thanks very much. Awesome. Thank to you. see more videos, go to Behind the Line with Chef Danny Davis on YouTube or check me out on Instagram at Future Chef Project. If you want to see stuff from Chris, you can go to his website, which I'll stick up here. Or, or, or how do they find you on Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is at Christopher Bishop. We'll put uh, that there. Christopher with a K and an F. Okay, see you later. Awesome. Ba-da-dun, ba-da-dun, ba-da-dun.